this is a quick guide only for operation water ballast system our water ballast system maker panacea glow and patrol this ballast system is uv light and then the system is sea water sea chest ballast filter and then uv light and going to ballast tank and vice versa if you ballasting or the ballasting it's almost the same but this ballast system is uv light next this is the ccr mlp we need to operate this one before going to the engine side previously is the mop of water ballast at the engine side this one at the ccr normal you can see the levels the valves at the ballast tanks and then suction by the ballast ballast pump and then there is a sea water also and then direct going to overboard that's a direct there is a bypass BA144 system number 2 at system number 1 BA135 that is the bypass valve going to overboard means suction for ballast tank bypass going to overboard that's it this is actual operation we use system number two see what the main okay. from the sea chest only three bulbs that you open right now mm-hmm one two then you I open this first, uh, it will fill up with the, the pump with the water. And then I open discharge, and then I open this one 30% in order that the discharge valve should be a little bit, uh, little bit closed in order uh, this uh, the correct, uh, proper way for starting. And then when I start, the pressure starts rising up here, discharge pressure, then I open fully this one. So it's, uh, yeah, it's okay. Okay. Yeah. and same backwards when I'm close when I'm uh, stopping the pump you have to make here like a, um, 40 30 percent when you will see that the pressure here is like 3.5 4 and then that's the time to stop and then close totally otherwise it will be a hit if you will stop with the fully open it will like a <laughs> yeah that's good. The engine room. this is at engine room side as you can see it is a coincide or it's the same the indication sea water line then ballast going to 140 that is the bypass bulb automatic bypass bulb ba 110 and then going to 111 to overboard it's almost the same this is at the engine side control panel for ballast water management system Previously, you can see the, uh, at the CCR, it's almost the same at the engine side. HMI monitor for engine side. At the top, there is a GPS monitor. Below, bottom, at the left side, highlight bypass mode. It means this unit is bypass mode. This is the second step. If you choose first step, Thing to do is you choose ballast or the ballast for now I click the ballast mode the ballast mode it means came from ballast tank and throw to overboard then automatic it's highlight going to the filter the ballast mode at the bottom is flicker means it is warming up just click what you like, ballast or the ballast mount. For this video, I click the ballast mode, okay. See water line. Then pass to the filter. That is the overboard. Then pass to the filter. And then we will wait for the flow until 500 that is the flow
after you click the ballast or ballast you need to wait until the flow rate is stable at 500 then almost 500 and then click the UV light start this is the warming up this is the UV light okay, already start and that is the flow 515 means reach if the flow reaches 500 then you can start that's thing that we do just start after that wait wait after five minutes until the warming up is flickered we'll wait for the actual we will wait for the dosage until 300 if the UV dosage is 300 it means the warming up indication light is flickered and ready for operation that's it UV lamp is 300 as you can see warming up indicator light is flicker then we can call to our chief so that they can start the ballasting as you can see I call chief already they opened at the ballast tank suction by the ballast pump going to the filter and pass to the UV okay, the ballast flickered ballast ballast tank ballast pump filter UV and going to overboard filter and then UV and we can go to the CCR this is the BMS port butter ballast management port this is the equator valves this is the UV this one is the filter that is a strainer filter has automatic washing this, this one at the top is the flow meter this one flow meter we need to have a 500 flow before we can start the UV that is the UV UV panel this is the at the engine control room maker panacea as you can see they already they already operating a the ballast node chief mate can transfer anything what he what he like uh, what he like to the ballast can choose right now it is operational the ballast mode next if you want to the ballast just click the ballast or if you want to ballast mode uh, stop the system and then put the ballast mode ballast water management system control panel this is the UV light this is busted I already replaced our UV light for one system is 20 pieces at the starboard for system 1 is 20 all in all is 40 40 UV light
this is our UV light if you want to install never touch that UV light this is at the CCR monitor they the ballast number six going to ballast pump and then pass to the filter pass to the filter and to the UV unit and to the overboard it's almost the same at the monitor at the engine side there is a monitoring UV lamp running and warming up finished there is an indicator that is flickered that lamp is or that indicator is lightened up going to overboard BA111 because this operation is the ballasting ballast number 2 ballast and the ballast is same procedure how to start a start the system stopping the system first put the water the suction and as you can see UV light is also running still running and then go to engine room warm it up stickered and then still flickered it means it's running you press UV and then stop UV lamp stop this is the UV lamp and then press stop okay warming up indication is turn off and the, the ballast mode is flickered it means that is stop automatic drain the filter filter is automatic drain in the monitor see water line at the sea chest going to the filter going to the UV and pass through overboard right now is the cooling time this at this moment you need to wait until the cooling time is cooling down time is finished the cooling time is five minutes until the bypass light is or the bypass mode light indicator light is lights up means the BA144 one four zero is open that's the time that the system is finished cooling down this is the actual you don't need to cut it cut the video or forward so that we know what is the actual sequence automatic drain again this filter has a differential the differential in or out is too big it reaches to the set point it will automatically clean up or flushing so that the filter is auto backwash this is the filter there and there is a motor at the top and then 
it has a lever that lever is connected to to the nozzle inside there is a nozzle inside at the filter so that it will spray at the strainer there is a limit switch at the top and the bottom next video I will show you how if we have time this structure of that filter still flickered the ballast mode is flickered at the manual it means 5 minutes to to wait until the bypass mode is lights up the bypass mode is besides the ballast mode just need to wait until the bypass mode is lights up it's the bypass mode is lights up and then automatically the BA140 that is the bypass bulb is automatically open going to overboard the time for that one is almost five minutes and then that is the time for cooling down right now the at the CCR they can turn off the ballast pump because the cooling time is finished that's all after that at the CCR as you can see UV lamp and warming up is turn off the indicator is turned off and still the sea chest is open and the ballast pump is running that's the time we can turn off the pump because the cooling time is finished if you learn from this video click like share subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell for more updates and follow us on facebook barco tv thank you very much